Capricorn, welcome back to my channel and welcome to your August love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Thank you so much for joining me and please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already Capricorn. Doing a five card reading for your love reading for August. This is a general reading. Please keep that in mind if you'd like to book a private reading specifically for you. You can check out my website in the link below. So let's get started, Capricorn. Doing a five-card reading, I've already pre-shuffled the cards. And let's take a ganda, shall we, into the energies for Capricorn. Interesting. Now, Capricorn, YouTube can be a blessing, and YouTube can be a curse. <laughs> And I, for some reason, have a tendency sometimes to have trolls on my channel who seem to have nothing better to do but leave stupid comments. So I've disabled comments for the videos for August. Many people leave me so many awesome comments and sweet comments. One person happened to ruin that for everyone else, and I apologize on their behalf uh, for their stupidity. So... I've disabled the comments. If you'd like to email me at Nightbird Tarot, if you enjoy the reading, let me know. That's fine. But, yeah, I'm disabling the comments. I just, nobody's got time for that. So, <laughs> let's move on, Capricorn, shall we? So, on the bottom of the deck, we see the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, of course, could represent Capricorn. Many readers will read the court cards as male or female. I'm not doing that. He's the king. He is male to me. So, however his characteristics or attributes apply to you and your lives, of course, this could be male or female, okay? The king of pentacles is the businessman. He's very generous. He's very financially stable as well. This could re represent husband, boyfriend, partner. You know, this could represent someone very close to you in your lives. The King of Pentacles is here. Actually, you have two kings in your reading, which is very interesting. What's up, Capricorn? <laughs> What's up? Okay, so in your theme, or the atmospheric element position, we see the Four of Swords. This is a stalker card, and the, this king is a stalker card in this month's readings, but I'll get to that in a second. The Four of Swords is essentially coming in and saying, Capricorn, in the month of August, there's a rest period, okay? There's a rest period. This could be a rest period from doing dating, being on the dating scene. This could also be taking a break from a relationship. This is a rest period, perhaps, where there's not going to be much conflict or drama in relationships. Things are going along pretty much smoothly. This also could signify for many there could be health issues, in the family for Capricorn as well with the Four of Swords appearing. The Four of Swords can also indicate sometimes dealing with mental illness, especially like anxiety or depression or bipolar or clinical depression. So keep that in mind as well. So if someone very close to you is suffering from this, this could be applicable for the ones that are watching. That's the message for you. The most recent past energies, we see the page. The Page of Pentacles, this is very much the student in the Tarot deck. This is also the beginnings of work. This is the work card as well. Something very much in tune with study, college, university. I know here in the North America, all the college students go back in the month of August. But this is coming out of the most recent past. There could be an association there with taking a break, being on summer break, and then notifying you or validating to you, Capricorn, of returning back to school. Pages can also indicate situations or children as well. The Page of Pentacles, once, once again, earth sign energy. Going forward, we see the King of Swords and the recent energy. So the King of Swords to me is very dynamic in terms of being a strategist. He's the general of the tarot deck in the court cards, okay? 
The King of Swords could be potentially an air sign male, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. He's also one that makes firm decisions. He's very serious-minded. He can come across as being too serious, not having a sense of humor. He's very sharp-witted. He's a great communicator, okay? If you're going into battle, you'd want this person on your side. He can even represent people in law enforcement, lawyers, attorneys, okay, in terms of career. This could even be political. This could be a politician type of card. This could be working for the government. So the King of Swords is essential for Capricorn in the month of August. This could be the dynamic if there are two potential two suitors going on for those that are watching. This could be very applicable for you as well. Okay, however it serves in your life situation. Now in the challenge for Capricorn, we see the Knight of Cups. Very much tells me that there is the challenge of gifts coming in. Emotional gifts, emotional gifting, offerings of some kind. There could be invitations. There could be getting asked out. There could be po potentials for engagement. If Capricorn is dealing with perhaps more than one suitor, I sound very old-fashioned when I say that. <laughs> more than one suitor. Uh, <laughs> more than one suitor, more than one potential partner, that may be the dynamic for many of those that are watching. But there's an emotional offering. It's in the challenge for Capricorn. Many of you may be hesitant about this. That might be where the Four of Swords comes in as, I'm not sure if I should walk down this primrose path with this, you know, with this gentleman, Kala. I mean, so it just depends upon Capricorn where you are in your life situation. Once again, I'm not reading specifically for singles or couples. I'm just letting the message come through, however it resonates for, for you. Now, the Seven of Pentacles has appeared. This is another stalker card that's come up for other signs. The Seven of Pentacles and the potential outcome for Capricorn is very much about Hesitancy in terms of lack of effort. Looking back, how far you've come in a certain relationship or how far you've come in your life at this given point, okay? Do you want to continue? Are you seeing results? Are you seeing anything that is producing for you emotionally and producing for you for the long term if you're seeking a long term relationship or in your existing relationships? What is, what is there that is keeping the, the fires, is keeping the fires roaring at night, Capricorn? What is it? Because something seems to be lacking for Capricorn. Is it effort? Is it passion? Is it complacency? Is it just, you know, day-to-day -day activities? What is it, Capricorn? Here we see the Empress has shown up. The Empress is very the mother of the Tarot deck. She's very significant in terms of creating, nurturing, unconditional love, okay? This also signifies marriage, okay? Pregnancy, etc. Then we see the page. The page has arrived very much about situations revolving relationships and emotions for Capricorn this month as well. Here the night, woo, hello. There the knight comes in, the knight of pentacles comes in, very much about slow, steady progress, long term, etc. And then the hierophant comes out, very much about tradition, traditional marriages, even using uh, the using your parents or your grandparents' relationship as your guide for marriage or a relationship, having that traditional romance courting, engagement, wedding, long-term, forever love type of relationship. Very much for Capricorn is, even for many this in the month of August, you could be attending perhaps weddings, okay, in the family as well. So that's coming through. So Capricorn, very much about, I'm gathering existing relationships, especially potentials for potentials for other kinds of partners as well are having that dynamic duo 
with the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So good luck to you, Capricorn. Keep me posted. Well, you can't keep me posted because I disabled the comments. <laughs> you know, that's the first time I've done that in three years on YouTube. It's like YouTube three years ago was a bit more lighthearted. And now, as a tarot reader on YouTube doing this for three years, people just come out being very super nasty sometimes, very critical, uh, very, very uppity about the style of reading and, oh, you're not doing it right. Let me tell you something. Tarot reading is like art. No painter paints the same. No tarot reader reads the same, okay? It's very, 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 very much like that. It's an open world, okay? So hopefully, come September, I will <laughs> open up the floodgates for your comments again. So I do apologize on the behalf of that troll who left the nasty comments. But anyway, poof. So Capricorn, there's a few things going on in your reading for August. The dynamics, the retreat, the rest, the, the student, the study, the emotional gifting, looking back at how far you've come in relationships, are you wanting to move forward? There's almost like there's a choice involved between two people. There's a lot of focus on the mother or if yourselves are mothers yourselves and the family as well as, as, well as emotions coming up or passions coming up in relationships, maybe there's feelings that maybe someone is kind of gifting you with a feeling that you haven't felt since you were 18 years old, you know, butterflies in the stomach, that kind of feeling as well. And there's definitely a romantic suitor <laughs> who's on its way for Capricorn as well in terms of invitations, proposals, getting asked out offering you love of some kind and someone who's very contemporary and very traditional so good luck to you capricorn have a blessed month in august take care and i'll speak to you soon